I want to take you back to my experience with the first Life is Strange. In order to fully express just how much this game impacted me, I have to take you back to 2016. It was a year of personal ups and downs, but those downs were the worst periods in my life. There was a lot of turmoil and tension within my household, genuine depression, and not having much optimism for the future. I felt helpless. Seeing people around me hurting and not being able to do anything about it was soul crushing. Video games were key during everything that was happening. It helped me not to be stuck in that headspace. It allowed me to escape into these worlds and connect with some of the only people I felt were actually there for me. I was looking for any distraction. On July 30th, 2016, I decided to download a game that I'd heard some light buzz about here and there. I played some of Telltale's The Walking Dead and I was interested to see what other games could do with a similar format. That game was Life is Strange. I had just finished high school and my social skills, especially at that time, they were not great. So I had nothing else to do or anything that would pull me away from the game. I didn't really know what to expect. I knew nothing about the story, but I wanted to dive headfirst into it and just kind of see what I thought. I started the game up on July 30th, and by August 2nd, I had taken the last optional photograph and attained 100% completion on the game. I've seen people go through episodes in an hour, hour and a half. I was so invested in the journey of Max Caulfield and Chloe Price and the world created by Don't Nod that my playtime on some of the episodes reached four to five hours. I interacted with everything that I could. I spoke to everyone available. I roamed Blackwell Academy inside and out for hours, and I explored all of Arcadia Bay that was possible within the confines of the game. Something about it just connected with me, and not in a way that a game that I like normally does. With all that was going on in my life, I felt like there was a three day period where I lived life as strange. While there was very little in the game that I related to on a one to one scale, there were so many overarching themes in the game that I found spoke to me. The story within Life is Strange can be, in a lot of ways, dependent on the person playing, which seems very obvious, but depending on the decisions that are made, it could be a story about self-discovery, love, and the importance of those who mean the most to you. It could be a story about the power within friendship, repairing the bonds that were once broken, and making sure you make amends with those you may have had a falling out with. It could be a story about grief, loss, and the ability to move on and accept that those you care about are gone. I could go on. After my time with Max and Chloe had come to an end and the credits rolled, I remember sitting in the same spot for hours, doing nothing but just staring at the title screen and listening to that theme and reflecting. Not only on the journey that I had just been on with those characters, not only on these sometimes incredibly difficult decisions that I had made, but reflecting on what I was going through personally and the many strained relationships that I was either a part of or was a witness to. In certain ways it opened my eyes to see many things that I had not been willing to accept. That it was time to let go. That it was time to focus and realize that I could not immediately change anything. That all I could do was move forward. I spent what felt like a month after that, taking in any Life is Strange media that I could find, from watching interviews with the tremendously talented Hannah Tell and Ashley Birch, to watching others play through the game, to see how they approached certain decisions, and how they reacted to that final one. All the way to listening to full podcasts breaking down the game, like the Blackwell podcast. The whole thing did a lot for me, and it feels a little insulting to just how good the game, the cast, and the dev team truly were, to call it the ultimate distraction, because it was so much more than that. But it did transport me into Arcadia Bay. It took me on this emotional ride, and it left me not only entertained, but sad, fulfilled, and self-reflective. It was escapism when I truly needed an escape. Later in the year, I had the worst week of my life in late November. Relationships were truly severed, to the point to where they don't exist now. Family just torn apart. But a couple of weeks later, on December 7, 2016, the brightest light was at the end of the tunnel. I met my fiance, someone who I am now over three and a half years later, still unbelievably grateful for. She is incredible. <laughs> but apart from The Sims or the occasional thing here and there, she is not into video games at all. Certainly nowhere near to the extent that I am, and that's fine. But after a year of us being together, it dawned on me that I really wanted her to experience Life is Strange. If she ended up not liking it, it would have been fine. But I thought if there was ever a game we could truly bond over, that was it. We played the first episode, and within two days, we had finished episode five. Like me, she was emotionally invested all the way through. She didn't want to stop, and she was just into making the decisions as I was when I first played. Being able to go on that ride with her, being in a different headspace than I was in the first time, that was great for me. It gave me even more appreciation for a game that did so much for me already. She was so into the series that we did eventually play Before the Storm together, and we just recently finished Life is Strange 2, which does deserve its own video. But we finished both those for the first time together. 
It is a bond that I am so glad that I'm able to share with her, and we're going to ride along with Don't Nod with whatever they do next. But I wanted to put this out to say thank you. Thank you to anyone involved in making that game. Thank you for giving me a gaming tradition that I can share with the woman that I love. Thank you because not only did it help me in a time where I felt like I had no way out, it helped so many others when it came to acceptance and representation. Just thank you.